welcome you all here on behalf of Heather and Danny. There it is. Interesting. Don't start yet. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Too late. Been, <laughs> I'm very sorry. I've known Danny and Heather probably three years now. Yeah. And we all became not just friends but family. So it is my honor to officiate this wedding today. Now before I get started, I'd like to call all the family members that have passed. I'd like to call all our ancestors of Native American origin also to join us today. Lend us your strength, your energy, and most importantly, your love. I'm going to start off with a Native American prayer. It's the Lakota prayer. Teach me how to trust my heart, my mind, my intuition, my inner knowing, the senses of my body, the blessings of my spirit. Teach me to trust these things so that I may enter my sacred space and love beyond my fear and thus walk in balance with the passing of each glorious sun. Danny, as I said this morning when I got up, I need you to be very clear, concise, if you can verbally speak into my ear. That would be perfect. If not, <laughs> just do it telepathically like you did this morning. Um, this morning when I asked Danny if he was ready, he said, I've been waiting for this my whole life. And that sounds very much like Daniel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we are here to embrace you on your new journey and ask that you watch over those that you left behind. I know Mommy, can you you? your heart, I know your soul. <laughs> so I was driving here today, I have this tumbler on one side is a wolf and the other side is a dragon. Oh, and it says, the heart of a wolf, the soul of a dragon. And it, it definitely made me think of you, because you embody both of those statements. You are an amazing man. You are an amazing friend. And I'm sure in Heather's heart, you were the most amazing love of her life and always will be. And I know you feel the same way. I know you do not enter into this lightly. You know the weight and gravity of, of what it takes to join together as husband and wife. And what it takes to keep that marriage going. Not only throughout your lives, but through all eternity. It is my belief that we remain connected even when we cross to the other side. So you will always be connected to all of us no matter what and we will be connected to you. And those of us that are here have pledged that we will take care of Heather and watch over your son for as long as we can. Tava is definitely <laughs> his father's son. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. And we know that he can see you, and I'm sure that he can hear you, even though he doesn't understand yet that you have left the earthly realm and you are now residing in the spiritual realm. No, we have, mommy have her necklace. And I think Tava senses that. So to him, you're still here. He sees you as you were, as you are, 
in the physical sense of who you are, he will always see you that way. And he will always know who his father was. <laughs> Would you like to recite your vows first? Yeah, or do I you have anything you want to say before we do the vows? No, I can do my vows. I just got to hold the baby. Come if here. he allows it. Come here. Okay. Really, you want to hold my flowers? To me. It's okay, buddy. Oh. Me and more. I don't know what to say. You're one of the very few people who actually get me and understands me. You're so amazing and wonderful. You have given me so much love and so much confidence. For once in my life, I am completely myself around you. You make me feel comfortable, loved, safe, but more importantly, myself. Everybody before you, I always was one part of myself or change everything. With you, I don't have to. You have saved me in so many ways, more than you ever know. You have helped me with my depression and anxiety more than anybody has. You have given me purpose to live, but also to better myself and to try to achieve my dreams. I promise to keep encouraging you with anything and almost everything. I promise to make you smile. I promise to love you for a long, long time. I promise to always be patient with you. I promise the world in my heart. I will give you everything to make you smile. I promise to always protect you and be by your side. I promise to always sell you cheesy pickup lines when you least expect it. <laughs> I always did the worst ones too. I promise to always make you laugh. I promise to kiss all of your wounds or when you are down. I promise to always be there for you and support your dreams. There's nobody else I'd rather spend my life with. You are the only person I want to love and to be with. Eres mi mundo, te amo mucho mi amor, amor tu mundo. Danny. I don't think I could actually channel you the way I want to. <laughs> but I'm asking you to come into the center here where the fifth candle is right behind the camera I want you to stand right there face me and I want you to recite the vows you wanted to say to Heather God knows if you wrote them down and where you put them brother <laughs> because it would have made my job so much easier today but we're going to have to do it this way you need to talk to me, speak from the heart, and tell me what you want me to relay to Heather. Okay. All right, whenever you're ready, Danny. Ah. <laughs> okay. You're starting out by saying, my love. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard getting through this, Danny. You made me a better man. I never knew the true meaning of love till I met you. My soul rejoices as I am free. And it is because of you that I learned to live. I know we only had a short time together, but trust me, my love, it will last forever. I love you with my whole heart and soul. I always will. And I'll be waiting for you. I love you. That's beautiful, Danny. Very beautiful. 
that you have the rings, right? They're hmm. going to be on a necklace. Yeah. I have this for right now, and then the rings are being made. This necklace is a representative of the union between Danny and Heather on this day and for all of eternity. You both have entered this in wide-eyed, wholeheartedly, and with great spirit. It is my honor to pronounce you both husband and wife. And may this union be blessed by God, all his angels, those that have gone before us and our ancestors. And may they protect this union for as long as they shall live. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Danny, I was very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Because knowing you, I didn't know what you were going oh, yeah. to say. So thank you for making it easy for me. See, at least he didn't do any dirty jokes or anything. No. <laughs> like he usually does. So at least no, he didn't that, do that. That would be bad karma. <laughs> <laughs> making a priest do dirty jokes at your funeral. But that would be you. It would. It really I would, would do it, but <laughs> thank God there's nobody else around. <laughs> they, they, they'd have the guys with the white jackets yeah. that strap in the back come get me <laughs> but it, it's truly been my honor Danny to officiate your wedding I just I wished it had been differently I wish that you were truly standing in front of me in the physical sense yeah. as a good brother I, I do love you and I love Heather and I love her family I got to meet your family. You need to meet more of them, whoever shows up tonight. <laughs> and and mm -hmm. I can see where you get some of your humor from, but I also see what formed you into the man that you became. And you are an amazing individual. I'm truly honored to be called your friend. I was more honored when, even though I was acting as a priest at Screamageddon, that <laughs> everyone would actually come up and greet me and say, Hello, Father. That was my, my one aunt's wish, that I would become a priest. There you go. You got it. Well, she she got her wish. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> like they say, be careful what you wish for. Well, yeah, I think it would would have made her proud if she'd been able to, to see me do this. I'm sure she'd watch me at some point. Well, she's still alive, but my uncle and my my cousin just recently passed. My... She'll get that feeling. She goes. <gasps> Yeah. He did something. <laughs> yeah. like he's doing something I want. And I want to address <laughs> those that greeted me here and formed a semicircle because I knew you were curious. Thank you for being part of this for Danny and Heather. It means a lot to them. And it means a lot to me spiritually that you would rise up gather and honor all of us here and I hope that you have people that stand up and honor you as well so thank you for being here and joining in thank you guys for being here so I really appreciate it you had said that um, earlier that you saw Danny standing over there with an older man. Yeah, there was an older man standing over there. That could have been my father. Half, halfway. And he was just standing. Do you know what he looked like? Or not really? No, I just got the impression of a man standing there watching us. It might have been my father because yeah. he's from a Native American uh -huh. also. I believe it our, was my father. Yeah, our relatives experience. join <laughs> us when we least yeah. expect them to. 
and they know when we're going through some difficult and turbulent times and they come and they lend us not only their spirit but their strength and I think that's important to go through life being that type of person I try to be not always succeed but I do my best thank you for the service I, I believe that even though I was recently ordained last year, I've always <laughs> always been drawn to minister to people. That's good. And I've I've met some wonderful people in my life, and some of them I had the privilege of helping cross over, so that they could be at peace. Great. So awesome. it's it's amazing when I can take part in it. Yes. Something like this that is a joyous occasion. Yes. Oh my goodness. Sounds like an eagle. Yeah. Sounds like an eagle. Right? Nope. An eagle? That's a hawk. That's, a hawk. That's mom's hawk. Mom has a hawk to follow. Me. That's one of the ancestors. Yeah, this is hawk's my spirit. Yeah, I see it. I see the hawk too. But mom's. It's like the worm. Worm, mom would be like. Freaked out, I'm like no, no, get away, evil, evil. I'm like no, no, no. <laughs> Accept it. It's not. It just tells what's, you things. What's interesting? But now the hawk is, is warning on the back foot. Is the timing of that hawk? Yeah. <laughs> and what the hawk is actually doing? It's singing a song of joy mm -hmm. that the ancestors oh, taught. The hawk was at our back fence right before we left it was this morning. a huge it was a huge oh. it was fat wow so oh, that's the, an, the ancestors coming they they knew what, what was planned for today and it's their way of taking part in it acknowledging it and giving us their blessing a couple nights ago mom was at scream mom was just before i got lily I heard a baby owl talking, and then I heard a mother talk, owl Aww. talking. So they were communicating back and forth into the woods. Aww, it was really cute. cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you think, little man? Huh? He's like, let me go. Can you give me a high five? High give five? Me a high five? Sometimes we'll give you a foot. We'll be like a foot five. High five. <laughs> high five. There's a gas <laughs> You are so your daddy's boy. Oh, he wants me to high five you. Again. That one's actually a pretty clean bathroom. Good, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. Love you, Dad. Um, fella. <laughs> As I remove these candles, may the energies that were placed here remain. May the protection that was placed here during this ceremony remain. And let those that come here feel the comfort of that protection always and forever. why he didn't have an apron. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. She did a really good job. It actually does look like him. <laughs> Say, Dada. Where's Dada? Can you find Dada? Where's Daddy? Yeah. Oh, you're going to sit now? 
You gonna find daddy? Yeah. Go find daddy. The stick burn all the way down? It did. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, if whatever was left, you could stick. No, it did burn. In the flowers. I could find another find one daddy. in the flower and let it burn too. That's easy. I'll just stick it there unburnt as a symbol of the scent he used to love and it will always be with him until it disintegrates. Said I wish I was doing a different type of ceremony, but as I promised, I fulfilled my promise to do yours. It was truly an honor. I love you, brother. Do you need the light, or are you just gonna leave it? Yeah, he's said unlit, right? Unlit. Okay. Yeah, just stick it in here somewhere unlit. And it'll, it'll biodegrade and go into the ground and be oh, absorbed okay. into the energies there. <laughs> there he goes. He loves to bounce, bounce, bounce. More family has come, Danny, to give their blessing. I know you can see them better than I can, but they're here. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. That's the first time I ever got a stamp in those days. The whole group back there Aww. is standing there clapping. You're good. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank hey, Tala. They probably like. This is unusual. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. First, not first. Or the last. Daddy kid? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I put your flowers there that you brought for daddy. Oh. I did? Do you want to take any pictures? Beautiful. We already took pictures. Oh, you already did? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, while Thomas was standing out, we took pictures. Before the waterworks came. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was really good.